Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master One here, and today I'm gonna bring you guys another top five most OP players, and today's gonna be the left mid slash left wing position. And there were so many names that I had to choose from, it was too hard to choose my top five. Because like these attacking positions, there's so many players to choose from, it's really hard to choose top five, so this video is also gonna be a top ten <coughs> most powerful players. And sorry I'm flooding you guys with these videos, but team of the year is coming up, and I don't know, it's like the first week of January or something, so I want to make sure you guys know, I don't know, maybe you care about my opinion, maybe you don't, but these are the top players in my opinion, in these specific positions, and I don't know, you could probably try these players in some squad builders, the price will drop, and I don't know, you probably want to build a new squad. After you buy so many packs and get so many coins over the break, I don't know, you maybe want to use these players, so this is for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like if you do, and don't forget, always comment, tell me what is your top five in each position, in this position, left mid, left wing. Ooh, I'm getting so lost. So let's get into this. And disclaimer, I've yet to use... Uh, Alessandri, I mean, I've yet to use Elia or Ribery. Unfortunately, I haven't used them. I've used Royce or some other players in hybrids. I've never used them, but I'm sorry. Just, they're not on my list because I never tried them. So let's get into this. Number 10. I'm going to give this one. People say he's OP. I might disagree with that. Just because he just doesn't fit my style of gameplay. As I said... This is all about my style of gameplay. These are the top players in each position with respect to my style. Some people will probably like a really weak 5-star skiller as their center mid because they could dribble off everyone. For example, I would like strength. So in this position, I'm looking for pace, passing, dribbling, and shooting if he's a left wing. If he's le left mid, I don't really care about shooting. It could be helpful, but not really that important. I'm going to give this one to Alessandrini, number 10, simply because his preferred foot is left and he's kind of weak. Because I like to have a bulky left mid or, I don't know, a left mid that could run, maybe push off a player every once in a while. But I like to cut in and use my right foot. He has 91 pace, incredible pace over there. But his other stats, I think those are true. He's not that overpowered. He's really good for 76 rated, don't get me wrong, but... I'm going to spoil this, but Lavezzi is better than him. You're going to see him on the list. Lavezzi is definitely better than Alessandrini. In my opinion, for my style of gameplay, <laughs> Lavezzi is better. So, Alessandrini gets position number 10. Number 9. I'm going to give it to... He's on my team. Don't need to search for it. I'm not a hypocrite. When I tell you someone is top 10, he should be at least on my team, I think. I'm going to give it to... My boy, Tarbat. 101 games played. That's like with the last guy before me. I don't know how do you do that. That's a lot of games with one player. I definitely would change a guy after, I don't know, 50 games or so. But for my club, even though he just played 10 games, only has one assist, it's just the one... If I had to describe Tarbat in one word, I would say fun. Literally, he's so fun to play with. His just 5-star skill moves and 84 dribble feels better because you could literally hold the left trigger, move your analog stick, and he'll do crazy skill moves. Nobody can get the ball from him. It's really fun to play with. There's definitely better players in that position, but since the market's going to crash, I'm making a team on a budget with his skill moves and not bad passing and not bad shooting. This guy is definitely a good pick. You must try. Definitely deserves my number 9 spot. Really like him. And number 8, He's also on my team. Sorry, I backed out. I'm going to give it to Gaetan. <laughs> and with respect to the series, we're talking about OP players. This is the most OP team in FIFA. I've done a squad builder on that. Make sure you check that out. It's called the top. I mean, the most... I think it's the most OP team on FIFA or is the 20k squad builder or something like that. Make sure you check that out. Look at Gaetan. Look at Gaetan. My nigga Gaetan. Even though he's preferred left foot, he has to be one of my favorite left mids 
in the game. Not left wing. Left wing, you got to cut in and finish. He's definitely one of my favorite left mids in this game. 83 pace, 86 dribble, 74 shoot. That's bullshit. He deserves to have 90 shoot. If you try to finish with his left foot, power shot or finesse shot, 10 times out of 10, you're going to score. Literally, his left foot is out of this world. It's like Bale status left foot. This guy's definitely hidden gem. Hidden gem. You guys definitely need to try him. 39 games played, 7 goals, 23 assists in Division 1. And I only got him for 700 coins. I don't know. If you don't call that OP, I don't know. <laughs> so, definitely deserves my number 8 spot. Number 7. This guy, I think... People started using him in FIFA 14. I don't recall ever seeing him or using him in FIFA 13. But we cleared, <coughs> we cleared that, sorry. And we're going to give it to my boy, William. I got this guy early in the game in packs. I've used him a lot, and I really like him. I use him in both Brazilian squad builders and uh, Premier League squad builders. He's kind of expensive. He used to go for 60000 or so. Now he's dropped to 30000 but he's definitely a player worth picking up. 88 pace, 80 dribble, 71 shoot. I think that's about fair. He gets a lot of corners. Sometimes he finishes, but he gets a lot of corners. That's why I don't like about him, the left wing. But left mid, he's incredible. 78 passing, 4 weak with 4 skill moves. And he has somewhat strength. He feels that he has strength. I don't know if it's the afro or is he black. <laughs> I don't know. He just has some strength inside of him that enables him to push off players at some occasions. Really good player, definitely deserves my number 7 spot. Number 6. You guys are going to be disappointed. You probably wanted to see this guy in the top 3, but I don't know. Other players deserve it better than him. That's the only thing I could say. Shawar, he's a really good player. Don't get me wrong. He's he's like number 6 in like all of FIFA, in my opinion. That's really good. 87 pace, 85 dribble, 80 shoot, 73 passing. Disappointing three skill moves. I expect better from Shawari. I don't know if EA fucked him over. I haven't been really watching him. I don't want to sound like a hypocrite and say, oh, FIFA, he had five-star skill moves last year. I don't really watch him in real life, so I wouldn't know. But I think he deserves skill mo better skill moves from what I hear. And I remember him from FIFA 12. He was the best silver to get out there. And he is really one of my favorite gold players in this game, especially when you put him up top with Bellatelli. You get that really good Serie A chemistry and Italy and Milan chemistry. You could build any kinds of hybrids around them. So he's a really good player, deserves number six spot. And in definitely incredible finesse shots with this guy. Number five. You guys probably didn't see this one coming. You probably did not see this one coming. This guy's an exception to the rule of pace. Francesco Totti. When he could finish as good as Totti, you don't need pace. Literally, he finishes 10 times out of 10. When I mean 10 times out of 10, I mean it. He literally scored every game, every single game. I put him in the left wing position. I don't think he would fit the left wing position. He's more of a finisher to me, in my opinion, because literally his power shots, his finesse shots, 20 yards out, 25 yards out, they're literally going to go in 10 times out of 10. 85 shoot, definitely deserves to be like a 90-something. 88 pace, 84 dribble. Five-star skill moves. He definitely has some strength in the game. I really like him. See, in the left mid position, I don't think he works fine. Left wing, definitely recommend him. Definitely deserves my number four spot. Number four. This guy's not really overpowered because he already has a high rating. And I think he's the best... Uh, I don't think he's the best. M maybe if he was a little cheaper, he could be up there as the top two, but he's kind of expensive. And kind of expensive. 180000 for a left mid. It's not really reasonable, to be honest. Because you got William, you got Tarbot, you got Shirley, you got whatever. You got so many left mids in the Premier League where literally being worth 180000 I think, it's not really worth it. <clears throat> if you have a shitload of coins, might as well get him. Don't get me wrong, but if you want to build a team, and I would rather get, for example, William and invest more money in my strikers. That's my opinion, but don't get me wrong. Shirley's definitely a good guy. 87 pace, 88 dribble, 79 shoot. Definitely deserves to be like an 85 shoot, 83 passing, 4-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot. He's an incredible player. Definitely worth number 4 spot. Now, number 3. I already said his name in the video. 
I'm gonna give it to the one and only Lavezzi. I've grown to like Lavezzi. I've been using him since FIFA 12, literally since he was in the Serie A. I just love his style of gameplay. He just fits me with the preferred right foot, with the right amount of skill moves, right amount of pace, right amount of shooting. I just love this guy. He works in the left mid, left wing, works in all kinds of positions. Preferred foot is the right foot, four weak foot, four scale moves. He's kind of short, so it's easy for him to do quick moves. I just love this guy, to be honest. Definitely deserves my number three spot. Enough said. I've used him way too many times. I really like this guy. Definitely prefer him over Alessandrini, in my opinion. But, again, if you don't have the coins, Alessandrini would work fine. Number two. I already said his name, too. I'm going to give it to Shirley. This guy deserves... Number two spot in my most OP list because he's really cheap. Not really cheap, he's 12,000, but 80 rated, yet he performs on the level of Hazard and those kind of players. I really like this guy. 88 pace, 84 dribble, 82 shoot, 75 passing. Definitely 4 star skills, 4 star weakness. You can't go wrong with this guy. His finesse shots from outside of the box are out of this world. You could literally cut in and do a finesse shot from, I don't know, from the edge of the box, 25 yards out, you're going to get that in. Definitely deserves an at least an 84 rating, in my opinion. Really good player to use. Definitely deserves number two spot. And number one, finally, you probably saw his picture in the beginning, or you haven't heard his name till now, so you're expecting to hear his name, and it's Marco Royce. Everybody knows this is the, the best left mid slash left wing in this game. He's an incredible finisher, incredible, he has incredible pace, incredible pass, incredible dribble. All around perfect player. Four star skills, four star weak foot, and also preferred foot right. So he falls, he meets all of my criterias for the best left mid or left wing. And especially for the left wing because he has strength. You, you've probably seen him a lot where people give him over the head through balls. He's going to out-muscle your player, and he's going to finish that. Definitely, Royce could finish finesse shot and power shots. So, he deserves number one spot. So, what I really want you guys to do, like if you guys enjoyed this, and comment below telling me what is your top five, because I always like to see if I missed, missed out someone. Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know. So, yeah, comment below. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Mr. Games Master 1. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.